Hey, what's up guys? So welcome indeed back to some Path of Exile content. So I'm um, first off here to go ahead and tell you guys what I plan to do for Delirium. It's going to be starting later today. So I went ahead and kind of looked at my options as far as what I wanted to do. Now, the last Path of Exile video that I uploaded was an eye shot uh, build and we kind of had like an entire playthrough here and I wanted to go ahead and showcase off the Necromancer. It is getting heavily nerfed in the new league, but I still want to go ahead and at least mess around with it to see what is going going to be viable or not but I also want to go ahead and, and mention that I plan to go ahead and make an elementalist slash necromancer I'll probably end up doing one first and then I'll just respec into the other one to see if it's actually viable or not I'm probably going to go ahead and do kind of a hybrid build in the very beginning up until we have our ascendancy then I'm going to see how the skills feel as the game hasn't actually uh had the availability to mess around with some of the new skills yet. Um, I know poison is going to be pretty strong, but I want new skills. That's really where I have a lot more fun. There's Stormbind and there's also Spellsinger. So we'll go ahead and see how fun these are going to be to mess around with. But I wanted to go ahead and serve this video as the purpose to kind of show you guys our progression in Path of Exile in general, because we are doing a full playthrough. And the last time that we played, we were showing off a, the Ice Shot build. But I wanted to go ahead and show off a few uh, newer mechanics that we haven't really gone over, but also show you guys the Necromancer that I've been messing around with. It's currently level 90, and uh, there's a lot of things that are getting nerfed, and I'll mention those, but I still think that it is quite going to be viable. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into like a T16 um, map over here, and I'll kind of go ahead and explain the gameplay. So since it, this is currently a Necromancer build, it's gonna be obviously based around summoning a bunch of things. And pretty much how we play as far as the playstyle goes, uh, we activate bone armor to make it so we're gonna get a huge uh, damage, um, like mitigation, it can absorb a bunch of damage, it absorbs 70% of the damage that we take. And then on top of that, um, it actually lasts for about half the duration that we uh, can upkeep. So basically you have this up whenever your uh, enemy would actually do like a very large attack and maybe let's say you can't like dodge it or you just wanna go ahead and activate it, feel free to go ahead and do so. And then our left click over here, is going to be Convocation, so it recalls them and grants us a temporary uh, regeneration buff to our minions. But it doesn't really matter, it's just, so if the minions kind of get stuck or they, their AI just kind of fails, um, it kind of helps out with that. Then we kind of spin around and we get extra energy shield while spinning around. It's gonna get significant, that part is getting nerfed uh, pretty hard. But as far as the gameplay goes, uh, we'll go ahead and just rush straight to the boss. But pretty much most of the uh, enemies will just kind of die out while we're just kind of go ahead and progress and it's a fairly easy build to play. Um, I would say as far as builds that I've played in this game, it's up there as far as like the top, top tier. Um, obviously it's getting nerfed, uh, which I still think it's viable, but is it one of the best? I don't know. We'll have to wait and kind of do some testing. Um, a lot of people are saying that Necromancer is completely nerfed, and this is my first Necromancer that I've ever played. And it was super easy. I got a lot of help from uh, you guys that came into the live stream. Thank you, by the way, for any of you guys that came in and helped out and told me like what skills to go ahead and, and uh, grab. Because I was following someone else's guide, but it was subpar on some of the optimization. And you guys came in and helped out with that. But um, pretty much, I could sit here and most of the units would be eliminated. I just want to go ahead and do the boss over here so you guys can see like how powerful this build is. And I still think that it'll be a very powerful build. Um, even with the nerfs, I think it's still viable. Um, again, it's just straight up getting a nerf. But there are a few nodes that kind of look interesting. Like your minions will always have plus one as far as the Thank you very much. Uh, bonus to the minimum power charges. And you can actually scale crit. So I don't know, maybe it won't be that bad at all. Go ahead and summon a bunch of skeletons. I, mean, I wasn't uh, spinning around, but see, I think there was uh, two bosses right there, and we pretty much were super safe on it. The build is very easy to play as well, but now that I've shown you guys a brief little uh, explanation of the gameplay and some of the gameplay so you guys can kind of see how it plays, uh, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about the uh, build over here and uh, for the sake of like our completion here because I did uh, actually get to complete uh, Cyrus. Charges, which I was never I'll, I'll just show you guys it real quick. Uh, it's pretty much towards the end of it anyways. But I wanted to explain that the build is definitely uh, capable of clearing content very very fast. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, like kind of fast forward over right, here to, to the kill. Oh it went too fast. All right. There we go. 
<laughs> so you can see it, it can complete Cyrus. It, it can complete all content in the game and it's super easy. Like it is a joke how easy this build is. Uh, like you really can stand in majority of AOE and just face tank things. Uh, and that is because you're able to go ahead and just grant yourself a bunch of energy shield. Uh, however, a lot of things are getting nerfed. So like I said, my plan is to go Necromancer slash Elementalist. Again, we'll respec into one or the other depending on how much I'm enjoying some of the newer skills, uh, but a lot of things have actually been nerfed. So let me go and actually kind of explain it. So Spirit Offering, which is uh, what procs when I'm just spinning to grant me some energy shield, that is no longer going to work. So no longer grants a point of the maintenance maximum life as energy shield. We actually lose out on that. That's actually pretty big, uh, but we do get extra chaos resistance up to 30 chaos res. I mean, it is nice, but I pretty much have maxed out on chaos res. Anyways, uh, as far as the build goes, um, we basically scale as much strength as possible, but as far as our passives go, there is one thing I do want to mention since we're trying to like showcase off everything in Passive Exile as far as like uh, the gems and stuff. There is what's called a Timeless Jewel. I haven't actually explained this mechanic here. So what it does is it converts what's normally on the skill tree, even though with Delirium, we're actually gonna be able to kind of build our own skill tree, which is quite cool. So this uh, jewel over here, and it's really hard to know what the heck every single jewel does because it's very vague. It just has a number. Sometimes people try to correspond the number to what the heck it does, but it's, it's very difficult. You basically have to hope the guy's honest with you tells you what if the heck it does uh, if you are purchasing it. Obviously, if you have it yourself, you can go and place it anywhere. Um, depending on where you place it, the uh, bigger nodes will be changing. So what we have over here is Slumlord, where it makes it so minions deal 80% increased damage, and we got two of those. Some of these nodes are actually really huge, like 80% projectile damage, 80% melee physical, but in between with the price of glory, you actually get nothing. Uh, so yeah, it completely changes because normally this gives us plus one endurance charges, which we don't actually normally would want. But with the bonus of 80% minion damage, getting two of those, that's really nice. So that is the uh, mechanic with the uh, timeless jewels, which we have early gone over. As far as the build goes, um, like I said, I'll, I'll put like the, the path of building uh, in the description box, but some of the items are heavily getting nerfed. Like the Shaper's Touch over here uh, normally gives us 2% increased energy shield, and uh, also we get... Um, bonus stats uh, that are also getting nerfed. Let me go and just bring this up. So if we go to the uh, Shapers, uh, Shapers Touch over here, uh, it grants plus one uh, maximum mana per four strength from two, so you get a little bit less over there. That's not really that big of a deal. What is a big deal is it used to give you, um, uh, what is it? It gives you 1% increased energy shield per 10 strength from 2% energy shield from 10 strength. So it's basically a half reduction. That's a pretty big nerf over there. The zombies actually took quite a bit of nerfs as well. Um, our helmet over here, which is the Baron, it gives us extra zombies depending on the amount of strength we have. It used to give you plus one zombie per 300 strength, and now it is plus one zombie per 500 strength. So it's a pretty big nerf uh, with that. Um, and then, uh, where is it? Uh, it says if you use a divine orb, it'll change it. Uh, but there's also another nerf with zombies where you get like one less zombies. I forgot where the heck it is. Uh, raised zombies. So the number of maximum uh, raised zombies you can have at gem level 20 is now six from seven. So a small little nerf with that uh, as well. Uh, but I think with our, we're getting like increased levels because of our uh, staff over here. It grants, where is it? Uh, plus two level of socketed support gems over there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but for the most part, that's uh, that's a big nerf over here, as well as, again, the Baron, which I already mentioned. Uh, but as far as the build goes, I think it still might be kind of a th thing that is viable. Again, I'll have to wait and test out the uh, the newer skills. So what I want to, what I plan to do, because I'm not really a fan of the, what is it, Stormbind, where you channel. I'm, not, I'm generally not a fan of channeling skills, so I probably won't mess around with this uh, too much. I'll at least try out all of the new skills, because... Here's what I plan to do uh, for Delirium. We'll do a full playthrough up until the maps uh, with like basically a Necromancer or an Elementalist. Again, depending on how good uh, Kinetic Bolt feels, as well as Spellsinger, maybe we can mess around with... Uh, there's a Spellsinger? It, it's one of the... Yeah, okay, there it is, Spellsinger. Um, so we'll see how fun it is to go and mess around with, again, the newer skills. And if they are viable enough, maybe we'll just go straight into Elementalist. But I actually have no idea what I want to go ahead and mess around with, other than we'll definitely roll Witch and if the build with Necromancer is terrible, then we'll go ahead and just respect with Warper Regrets, uh, or we can technically make another new character. Again, it depends on how fast we start scaling things, but um, 
yeah, again, uh, if you guys wanted to copy the build, I'll put the path of building uh, down below. But there's also another thing I wanted to mention, which was really insane, uh, because Metamorph League, Chaos Resistance was something that we really needed. And I got this Watcher's Eye that's really good. It gives us plus 50% to Chaos Resistance while affected by Purity of Elements. Uh, so that's a huge, easy way to get a bunch of Chaos Res. I don't know if we're going to actually really need Chaos Res for the new league. Again, uh, as far as the gameplay goes and, and what we need, it's kind of unknown. And I kind of like that idea of Path of Exile kind of teasing us. Like, you know, there's this new end game boss, but what does he do? What kind of damage does he do? I don't know. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, with the uh, newer build, we still can scale strength because we get a bunch of bonus damage. Half of our strength is added to our uh, minions, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, I mean, yeah, losing out on, on we lose one from like the base, uh, like nerf on zombies plus Baron, uh, another uh, nerf over here where it would be like an additional two zombies that we're losing. So even if we lose out on like three zombies with 11 zombies, we still have our specters. There's a few uh, different uh, newer jewel and cluster nodes that are from the newer mechanic from Delirium that uh, we'll put on the edge of the skill tree, like let's say like over here, which we can easily reach. Um, well, I kind of down here because of the um, the, the the bonus on the uh, uh, timeless jewel, but nonetheless, we can easily go over here because I don't really mind going over here for the life nodes anyways. So we can go ahead and allocate this uh, jewel socket over here. It's anywhere on the outside of the tree. And there's a lot of really cool minion nodes. There's one where it gives them plus one to minimum power charges and then a bunch of crit damage. So zombies might not be completely nerfed, but if you guys uh, know how to optimize this build any better, uh, I feel like most of you guys came into the live stream and were really helping out. Again, I don't really mean to mouse over every single piece of gear in the video, but I'll go ahead and end up doing it. Uh, because it's not like a build guide video uh we'll end up kind of doing one anyways as we progress when i do like a full playthrough when of course the new league starts but to answer you guys' question when you guys came in the live stream what i plan to play for delirium it's elementalist or necromancer either way we're starting off as witch and uh through playtesting we'll see which one is a little bit more fun or what one is actually going to be viable because sometimes fun doesn't always mean that it's good but anyways thanks for tuning in guys and uh, let me know if you guys uh are going to be playing delirium what you plan to play i know a lot of people are interested in playing variants of poison there's a hollowed palm technique i was actually thinking about doing a flicker strike hollowed palm technique but it's very 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 expensive as far as what we need for that one so i'll probably end up again going necromancer because it's so cheap and it's so easy to go ahead and have access to most of the pieces of gear plus it might be even cheaper now um but we'll have to wait and see maybe surprisingly it'll be even better with some of the new cluster nodes but we'll have to wait and see but thanks for tuning in guys and i'll catch you guys later and if you guys um want to catch me over on twitch feel free to go ahead and do so i do plan to also stream the entirety of our like playthrough what, what i plan to do is like i said play through up until maps we'll see if it's good and if it's good enough i'll make like a build guide video but if it's just like absolutely terrible then uh, we'll probably skip out on that <laughs> but anyways thanks for tuning in guys and i'll catch you in the next video have a good one and good luck on your RNG drops with that Delirium League. I'll catch you next bit. Peace.